Oh man, I thought I still have enough space on my hard drive. So here it says um, I have 111 gigabytes available, but if I go to the system settings, it's actually only 34 gigabyte available and 77 gigabyte is purchable. So I need to free up this purchable disk space but there isn't an easy way to do it in the settings so we need to make believe to the mac os sierra that the disk is getting full and in that way uh, mac os will automatically clear up this purchable disk space so that you will have real actual disk space after that and to do that we need to uh, fill up the disk as as much as possible so the biggest files that i have are imovie library file so i'll just copy that file and make a new folder and then go inside and paste that file but you can use any file, you can use like a large movie like a, and then copy it and then paste it multiple times. Oh, it is working, it is copying the file as you can see here. So in theory this perturbable space should get smaller. As you can see when the file is uh, filling up the disk, this perturbable area should get smaller. We need to fill up the disk completely so that Mac OS will decrease the amount of virtual disk space. So now it's done copying. Let's check uh, how much free disk we have. Still 15 gigabytes. We need to fill it, the disk completely up to the brim so that Mac OS will start decreasing the size of the purgeable disk space so let's find the more large files okay this one is 600 megabytes let's copy that just paste it a couple of times keep both so that uh, they won't have the same name just copy both them together so it uh, there are larger files, select all of the files, copy and paste again. Let's copy some more. We are duplicating those files together. There are 5 gigabytes. Again, we'll copy the files. There's still plenty of space, so we need to select more files. The purchable disk space has to do, in my case, with the iCloud files. For example, your, if you use iCloud to store your pictures, your local files will be a smaller version of the picture to save space. So the real-sized files are stored in iCloud and they will only be downloaded if you actually want to view the full res resolution picture. So that's why the purgeable space. So now we reduce the purgeable disk space to 30 gigabytes. We need to copy an, uh, a few more files so that it's completely as small as possible. So how many, how much disk space can we still copy? We still can copy 30 gigabytes. And then here, if you want to avoid the purchable disk space in the future you need to disable optimize max storage if that's disabled the purchable area should stay small otherwise over time it will increase in size again so i'm going to leave it on because i still want to use uh, icloud so now the purchable space is 
down to 14 gigabytes so we only need to copy a, a little more make some dummy files so that all the perturbable disk space is is to is minimize okay so we done it we already got rid of the perturbable disk space now we can delete all the files we just created so that I can use it to back up the iPhone in, in iTunes. Let's do that. Let's just delete this with con control command delete so it gets deleted and just empty the trash bin just to make sure. So now as you can see we have 100 gigabytes of real free space so let's try again with itunes to make a backup of the phone it seems it's working now so we cleared enough real storage space on the local hard drive thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video see you next time stay safe